Hi, I'm Miguel Bell. I'll be reviewing the Cleveland Launcher XL. Definitely the strength. So for me, as you can see, I'm out here in the desert. There's lots of sun. Uh, I like aesthetics of clubs. And in this one, you have a matte black finish on the crown, which really looks nice when you address the ball. There's no reflection. There's no sparkly stuff that's distracting you. So I like the look of it. And when you put it down, it's kind of a little bit longer from base to the back trailing edge. So there's a bit of a meaty head and it just, it seems very confidence inspiring. It is a big head. So that's definitely a positive for people who want to feel more confident. That big head makes you feel like you can't miss the ball. Uh, it is very forgiving. I feel like on miss hits, it still put me pretty center in the fairway. Um, there's just so much to go on to talk about in this club, to be honest. So it has an adjustable hosel, which I love. I love adjustability. So you can go from a nine degree loft all the way up to a 12 degree loft, and you can even set it to a flat lie angle, which is very interesting. Um, and it's gonna help a lot of people have the ability to work this club and fit it almost to themselves. Um, another thing that it's got going for it is this technology that they kind of got from their um, other brand Strixon. It's got the rebound frame and they're saying that it has flex points not only in the face but there's a band of metal that's a little bit thinner that goes around the circumference of the club and that also flexes. So you've got two areas of this driver that flex in order to provide that trampoline or rebound effect that they call it. Um, it also has, interestingly enough, in the grip, it's back weighted with eight gram weight. So it counterbalances it. They put strategic weighting in this head to give you a lot of forgiveness, to give you a lot of moment of inertia, MOI. But to offset that, they've actually put that counterweighting and it just makes it a little bit easier for you to swing that head. It is big and it allows you to get really aggressive with, with it, which I think a lot of people are gonna like. They're gonna like that they can swing hard with this club. So I think one of the weaknesses, in my opinion, is that even though it has an adjustable hosel, it doesn't have any adjustable weights. So this is a very forgiving club head, but it does kind of have some properties that allow it to be spinny. That is to say that other clubs give you the opportunity to move weight forward closer to the face, which reduces spin. This club doesn't. So I definitely think that's a weakness, especially if you are a high spinning driver like myself. So the launch is pretty high. I am a spinny player, so my ball flight trajectory is gonna go a little bit higher. Um, because of the MOI, it's very forgiving, but they've gotta put that weight towards the back, which is gonna allow that launch to get higher. The launch is high, the ball flies out there, and I think that's actually a positive for a lot of players who struggle getting the ball airborne. This club's gonna help you get that launch angle real high and get it up there. So for me, this club's head weighting is a little bit different than what I play. And so it's not specifically for me. The distance on this, I was averaging about 250 yards. And I, that's a little bit low for me, but that's the trade off for me with this type of club. This is more forgiving, maybe not as far, but I do think that for the overwhelming majority of golfers, that this club, due to its launch angle, due to its forgiveness, is gonna get them the distance they want with the forgiveness. So you kind of get the best of both worlds, so to speak. Um, I wouldn't say this is one of the longest drivers out there, but I don't think it's meant to be. I think it's meant to be more forgiving with length. You get both and, and you don't have to choose one over the other. Due to that counter, balance weighting in the shaft. You can be more aggressive with the swing. And it is a big face, it is stable. Um, I was getting pretty good ball speeds, not the fastest ball speeds out there. I was on the GC2 launch monitor and the uh, speeds are respectable. But again, I don't think this is designed to be the longest club out there. It gives you high ball speeds, not the highest, but they are high. And I just gotta reiterate that with that high ball speed, you're also gonna get high forgiveness. So I, that's where I think this club sits right below a distance driver, but it's so much more forgiving. All right, so I have to be honest, the sound here isn't my favorite. It's not like a solid thud or crack. It's also not a high pitched 
ping, it's like a muted ping. So I know that sound can be important to people and in my opinion, this sound took some getting used to. Um, my particular driver, my gamer club, is a very high-pitched ping, which I've gotten used to. Um, other clubs are a more solid, like, whack. This is like a, a lower-pitched, muted ping. It's not offensive, it's just different. And I haven't really heard another club sound like this. So definitely take uh, a few swings at it and see how it goes for you. Okay, so the feel on this club is pretty standard. I, I didn't feel like it sprung off the face. I didn't feel like it was a heavy anvil. It's just a solid driver that feels secure. There's a lot of stability in this head. Um, I wouldn't say that it bounced off the face or that it came off hot. This really is a very, I'd say, easy uh, impact. It's an easy swing and it feels like that. It doesn't feel like the club is doing anything more for you per se, but I like that steady consistency. I don't think this club is the best for people who have a very steep angle of attack and create a lot of spin. This is not a low spinning driver. So if you are someone who needs low spin, this is not the club for you. One of the things that I think uh, should be considered about this club is that it's a great value. There is a lot of technology in this club. There's a lot of forgiveness. There's great distance. And it comes in significantly uh, more reasonable than other higher priced drivers out there. But you're getting a lot of the technology to help your game. So I think it's a great point. The performance for me is not exactly where I'd like to see, but I can see how this is gonna help a lot of people. So overall, I think it's a solid club. I think it gets a lot of people looking for a driver with lots of technology into the market. And I, I think it's gonna be a winner for a lot of people. Go in this middle one, buddy. 